Welcome. Take a seat. Please close your eyes. Begin to attune to your breath. And now turn your ears to your breathing and we'll cultivate a breath called Ujjayi Pranayama. And it's, it's almost sounds like a hissing tire. And begin to slowly even out your breaths. And it's nice to just start like this, to take a minute or two to just focus, turn the attention inwards, and get the breath flowing. And throughout this practice, see if you can continue to come back to the breath and build the poses with the breath. And draw your hands to your heart. And bow the head. Release the hands, beautiful. Let's start in tabletop position. So hand shoulder distance, wrist crease parallel to the front of the mat. And from here, spread the fingers, place the hand flat. Keep the breath flowing, and then when you're ready, slowly tuck the toes and make your way back to downward facing dog. Very nice. So these lovely ladies, I can hear their breathing, and at home, make sure that you're listening to your breath, and it's this sound. So the breath is full and it's long, and this is a great indicator for you to keep safe in your poses because it's showing can you keep a full, integrated breath, one of the great measurement tools of our yoga practice. Let's slowly come forward to plank pose. Take a deep inhalation. And then exhale, lower down, try to keep the belly lifting. There you go, and lower down, chaturanga. If you need to come to the knees, please do so, and come to the belly. And then from here, the hands pressing. Inhale, lift up, right, and breathe into the rib cage. There we go, nice breath. And then when you're ready, tuck the toes. If you need to come to the knees, do so. Transition, downward facing dog. At any point, if you need to modify, you just do, right? You, you can do things from the knees, uh, step your right foot up between your hands. In this particular case, as we do lunges, feel free to bring the back knee down. And then from here, inhale, draw the hands to the hips. Very good. Pressing through the mound of the big toe. And if you look back here, the heel is stacked, the back leg. Actually, everybody bend the back knee, turn the knee in a little bit, and that will help then, right? Takes the left hip out, the right hip slides back, and then inhalation, reach your hands up. There we go. And then, in this, it's a 20 minute practice here. So just to be able to start to settle in and sit, be in the pose and breathe, right? The hands up, and at any point you need to modify, you can bring the hands to the hips. Deep inhalation, and exhale, release, downward facing dog. So, continually come back, right? You look, do you even just take a, a little glance up at the hands? You see how nice the hands will be spread keeping the index knuckle down. And that helps then, right, pressing the hand to keep a lift on the underside of the shoulders, which then is gonna open up through the collarbones and the shoulders. And your lungs are up here, keeping the breath full. Inhalation and exhalation. Step your left foot up between your hands. Inhale, draw the hands to the hips. Very nice. And you can see, see how steady you, the way they're moving the breath and the motion are linked. Inhale, when you're ready, take your hands up. And believe it or not, this is, if you've been practicing yoga, you know this, it's really tough to move in this amazingly uh, detailed way because it is slower. It's actually, it's harder, it'll make you sweat more. And what's cool is it really integrates the muscles. This thing's called fascia, then they literally web the body together. Good, couple breaths here, enjoy. Take a deep inhalation. And exhalation, release, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, come forward to plank. Any uh, points you need to rest, please do so. If you want to add a little extra in, lower down chaturanga. I'll take you through it. Inhalation, rise up. So cobra and lift. And think like you, think cobra, right? The upper palate is drawing back. And like a striking snake, right? You're lifting. The feet are pressing. And now from here, breathe. 
And now if you want, you can add in a chaturanga on the knees or you can lift the feet slowly, chaturanga, and now slow press. You're gonna work the tricep, there you go. Press it up and downward facing dog. Nicely done. Inhalation. Exhalation, step the right foot up between your hands. Turn the back heel to the earth. So the back foot can roughly be parallel to the back of the mat, or you can turn it in 45 degrees a little bit for some of you guys. Then from here, bring a rise up warrior two. Nice, and then feel the, uh, feel the feet and take a big inhale. And then your exhale, root down through the legs. Your next inhale, I want you to really start to pull the feet, the heels towards each other. You can feel the arches lift possibly, right? And now you're toning the muscle to the leg. So these inner uh, thigh muscles are toning, these adductors, and then the hamstrings. And then from here, anchor back down through the legs. Very nice. From here, the breath full up through the rib cage. You can see, yeah, the breath just flowing. There we go, and now straighten your right leg. Bring the hands to the hips. So from here, I want you to really, this energy, see if you can bend both legs a little bit. Pull the energy in, that tones the legs. This, and what we're doing in yoga is creating muscle, and then we're stretching it. So from here, we pull in, and now start to straighten the right leg. You can even leave the left leg bent for a moment. Slide the hand down if you need a block, and you have one at home, do that, or you may have to, you could even use a chair. And then from here, Straighten the left leg and lift the left arm up. And then the cool thing with this is you just keep looking back at the feet and, and bring in your, you can metaphorically or visually look at the feet and then right, pull the heels in, right? That's toning muscle, that's gonna keep your hamstring safe. And then from here, you root back down through the legs. There we go. And now inhale and rise all the way up. So you come up, very nice. You pivot the right foot in. You're gonna turn on the mat, left foot, facing the other direction. Then from here, bend the front knee, come to warrior two. So in these poses, right, back foot again, watch it. All the way up to the front, keep the knee stacked right over the center of the ankle. If you can get this leg parallel, you can do it. It can be pretty deep for people, so just breathe. Go to a place where you can hold the breath in the pose. Very nice. Bring the hands to the hips. Start to straighten the leg, left leg. But leave a little micro bend in it. And now from here, as you put the bend in the leg, that's gonna tone, right? It's toning these inner muscles and the hamstrings, which then pull them, hug them to bone, keeps them safe, and now it's, it's holding, and now we're gonna stretch it. So press the leg straight, right? And then use your breath to facilitate a, uh, an opening here, a subtle stretch, and then um, fold out, take the left hand down, and move into triangle. Very nice, and then you can see, right, the legs create the triangle, just like the name of the pose, and then from here, the waistline is full, right, on both sides, and the rib cage is expanding, boom, opening up. And you can see through the uh, spine, all the way up through the head, right, you wanna keep the neck, so if you were standing up, you're taking the pose, and then you're just gonna Move it this way, so watch the head doesn't dump. And the more, if actually you can pull the heels in, that then helps stabilize the legs, helps stabilize the core, and then that helps the upper body. Very nice. And inhale, rise back up. Good. Turn your left foot in. Turn your right foot towards the front of the room. Now pivot on your back heel, so the back heel lifts, or on the back toe, back heel lifts. Very good, hands back to the hips. Now from here, hold the pose, bring the hands to the heart. For some of you, it may be easier to take the back knee down. Actually, why don't we all do that? Take the back knee down, fill up with the inhale, and then exhale, twist across the body. Now from here, right, you take your tricep to the outside of the leg. If you want, you can lift the back knee up. One of the cool things about yoga is the, the breath, right? It's really, in my mind, what separates it sometimes from just exercise, right? Uh, we're building muscle here, we're stretching it. But this component of the breath, to really keep the breath full, will take the mind, right, the concentration of the mind on the breath. And then that's what's gonna feed the brain and really allow you to process and start to see yourself. So it's really, you're linking the subtle quality, what I like to consider the heart energy, the mind, and the body. And those three things, right? Very powerful. Take a deep inhale and exhale, release, downward facing dog. Very important to come back to why are we practicing yoga? 
And everybody has different reasons. From here, inhale. Exhale, step your left foot up between your hands. Bring the hands to the hips. Very nice. Now, for those of you who would like, modify bringing the back knee down. You may want to get a blanket, right? Or if you have a towel at home, if the patella, the kneecap hurts, then do so. Um, just, just pat it up. It's totally, that's fine. Hands to the heart. Take a nice full inhale so the waistline gets full and then slowly twist across. And as you do, like imagine like your, your body, your torso is a sail. You fill up. You're going to turn. There we go. Now, if you really want to, this pose, right, a lot of energy right now, you've got to press the mound of the big toe, working that, the thighs rooting up towards the sky, then see if you can slide the front hip back, hold that energy, right, the legs are scissoring towards each other, and then slowly press back down, anchor down through the legs, and this, if you're doing it right, it should give a natural lift up through the spine, the back of the head, collarbones open. A couple breaths here, and just be in the breath. You can hear the ujjayi, ujjayi pranayama, right? Nice and even. And inhale, slowly release and come to downward facing dog. And one more time, step the right foot up between the hands, bring the back knee to the earth. So I'm a real lover of lunges, right? Um, all forms of lunges. And you can do, right, from standing poses and now to hip openers, you can walk your hands inside your leg once again, pad the back knee if you need to. You have the front foot nice and steady. Some of you, if you're more open, you could actually walk the back knee back. Now from here, rather than, I would rather have you have a long, right, full breath, full, long spine, than to co totally come down and get crunchy in the back, and the back rounds and the shoulders pull in. So from here, use your breath, inhale, and then if you want to move down to one forearm, left forearm, the right forearm will be a little trickier to get down, move down. That's it. And now, right, this is like one of the practices when I only have a little time. I step right into it. Right, you did your dog, you warmed up the bigger muscle groups. Now we're getting into the hips, a little more subtle. And sometimes you only have 20 minutes, so you take the time, you connect. It's amazing what that can just do, the way you feel, and the way you're seeing things. You can see just right, the nice, really just sometimes the, the view, the pose, especially if you're newer, you can look at something and go, oh, is that what it should look like? So just, and then you take that shape and form and then you do it in your body, what works for you. And press on back to downward facing dog. As you can see the, right, the, the breath really allows us over time you build the nervous system. You can see how beautiful the foundation is on these, on these four. They're really, they're mindful in all their movement. Step your left foot up between the hands, bring your back knee to the earth. And then from here, same thing, begin to fold out. And see, I like getting into hips here because for a lot of folks, this is a I mean, it's wonderful what it does for the body, but then you can now begin to focus your mind, right? I have a program called Meditate, Study, Practice, and I feel that you're always doing that in yoga. Like right now, right, you're meditating, studying the pose, you're practicing the pose, and all those three things are always weaving themselves back into each other. And it really does, it's amazing what, um, well, just watch people when you start a practice, See how you feel, and then afterwards, whether it be 20 minutes, an hour, and then just see how you feel after that. Especially if anybody out there, you have any lower back stuff. Pose like this is really nice because it opens on the back leg. A lot of times opening the back of the thigh here, the outer edge of the hip, which then is connected to the pelvis, obviously, and then it opens the lower back and it can help release tension. And take it back to downward facing dog. Beautiful, come on down to the knees. And then let's uh, just let's come to the backs here. So you can come on, turn around, face your feet forward. 
and then we're going to come, we're going to bend the legs, and you're going to come, come to your backs, and then touch your fingertips roughly to your heels. And then in some of the longer classes we, we will do, um, you'll be able to see so much comes out of this pose right here. So bend your arms, what we call uh, robot hands, right? So press the shoulders down the head, even the legs here. So feel the feet, you can gently pull the feet towards each other and pull the heels back. And then when you're ready, inhale, lift your hips up. We're coming into bridge pose. There we go. So now, right, now we're just going to start to open the back a bit. And the legs, once again, like I was saying, they're toning. That gets these muscles, the adductors. Heels pulling back, it's the hamstrings. And this really helps begin to move the hips. And then that allows you to get this nice opening in the lower back. Then from here, breathe. Let the breath flow. I want to see if you can breathe back into here. I know that's a, a weird concept, but rather than breathing up, see if you can breathe back. And you'll see that the belly will hollow a bit and will create this deep opening in the rib cage. And the ribs then begin to stretch, and all those inner rib muscles feel so good. Your lungs will love it. And inhale, exhale, release down. Take a moment, just pause. You can put your hands on the belly or on the floor. Yeah, in 20 minutes, they're getting, they're, they're warm, I can tell. When you're ready, we're going to do one more. Bend the arms. And then with the breath, breath linked to movement, inhale, lift up. You want to make sure the feet are parallel, turn the right heel out. That's it. And then really, because a lot, it's hard to see in this pose, your knees. But you want to have your knees stacked right over your ankles. And when you pull the feet in, a lot of times the knees will come closer together. But we want to be mindful to the best of our awareness to pull evenly. Then from here, shoulders down, lift up through the heart. The breath flow back and forth like a wave, right? It goes in and it goes out, nice and steady. Beautiful inhalation. And exhalation, release down. Draw the knee into the chest, right knee. I would leave the left leg bent if you have anything going on in the lower back. If you're a little more open, um, feel free to straighten the left leg out. Uh, the leg, left leg bent, you're going to give a little pull on the heel right now, right? So you can, you can feel the hips rock as you pull your left heel back. Now grab behind the right thigh and straighten the right leg. Shoulders and head down. You can see as you're in the pose as we begin to root uh, down through the left foot, through the shoulders, back of the head. Now you can start to get these beautiful curves in the spine and you want to elongate, pressing the head down and sliding it away from the hips. Right, in the right leg. Inhalation. Exhalation. Lower the right foot. Inhalation. Draw the left knee into the chest. Right, and you see it's cool when you actually, you can watch it too, and as well as doing it, but the biomechanics, right, the way you, it's the science of movement. From here, you draw the knee in. Then as you start to straighten your left leg, if you notice your lower back starts to flatten into the floor, right, that's what it will do for most of us, you need to press the hips down and try to get that little length and that little curve, right, lifting the lower back a little bit away from the floor, and this will create a balance, right, in the lumbar spine. Same thing happening in the neck. And then come in the pose, create some space, and just breathe. The breath, if you, were, if you can hear it, I'm not sure, but in the, in the room it's so beautiful, all four of them are just, you, it's just here, Ujjayi Pranayama, so steady through this whole class, 20 minutes. And release the leg. Draw the right knee into the chest, straighten the left leg out. And then twist the right leg across the body. Take the right hand in what we call cactus variation. And if you have anything going on in the shoulder, this would be, in, you would have your props with you, right? Or you'd, you could take a book, um, a, a blanket or towel, roll it up, and you would lift this hand. If, there's, if, the, if you notice your shoulder is lifting, and this then, right, you can put a block under it, you press then into the block, and that creates the shoulder to move down from here. And you see she even deeped in the twist this way. The shoulders are stabilized, and then the hips, right, will go perpendicular, and that gets deep into where the, in the rib cage and all into the thoracic spine. There we go. Keep the breath flowing. We're almost there. And slowly inhale. Rise up. 
You can bend the knees again and then straighten the uh, right leg out. Draw the left knee into the chest. And then slowly twist across the body. So just sometimes take and write 20 minutes to connect in, remember the breath, warm up the body, and it's amazing um, what it can do for you. And then the days where you have a little more time, you, you take a longer class, and, and this is how right on a, uh, you really build your practice, steady and slow, over, you know, you could do it in a couple months, but it takes, these, these ladies have been practicing, I know, for, for many, many years, and they make it look easy, as you know, right? Uh, it, between all the different parts of the body, sometimes it can take a while to open. So just, just go slow. And inhale, rise. And draw your knees into your chest. Beautiful. And then roll to your side. And please come and take a comfortable seat, sit. Thank you so much. Please bring your hands to your heart. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for sharing. Namaste.